love going to new places, but I hate traveling. That is until I discovered first class. What's up you guys, it's Jen here, and today I'm taking you guys along to Paris. We're traveling first class baby, also known as business class in Canada, and I'm gonna show you how we got these seats for under $450 each, when they usually cost over $7,000 each. And this is not even an ad, this is just something I wish I knew sooner. And if you haven't flown business class before, oh man, it will change your life. I'm gonna show you what else comes with these tickets, what other perks you get, what to expect, and I'm gonna show you my skincare routine on the airplane. And if you wanna see how I pack my skincare for a trip and what I packed for this Europe trip, head on over to my TikTok, I'll link it down in the description. And now that you know what this video is gonna be all about, let's get started. This was our itinerary, so we flew one way from Toronto to Paris because we were going to go to Lisbon and then fly back home from Lisbon. We flew to Montreal in premium economy and then from Montreal to Paris was business class. So how do we get these flights for so cheap? by hacking credit cards. So we used 158,000 points and we paid about $900 in cash. And how do we get so many points so quick? Easy, welcome bonus. We each got an Amex Platinum card and the welcome bonus is 70,000 points if you spend 10,000 within the first three months of card ownership. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but we got these cards when we were planning our wedding, so we were putting a lot of wedding expenses on it. And we also bought a house, so we were also buying furniture and putting our property tax, things like that on the card. Now this card does come with a pretty hefty fee of $800, but I'm a girl who loves a good deal and I think it's worth it. Let me tell you why. So right away you're getting $400 back because you get a $200 travel credit and a $200 restaurant credit. And if you're someone who likes to travel, you have access to over 1,300 airport lounges across 140 countries. And these airport lounges Lounges are open bar, buffet style food, unlimited snacks, comfortable seats, showers, quiet spaces, you name it. And then if you put your day-to-day -day expenses on it and then earn a welcome bonus, you can convert those Amex points into aeroplane points and redeem it for something like a business class flight, which was $7,000 in value. So essentially we spent $400 to get $7,000 in value. And I think that's a pretty good deal. And like I said, this video is absolutely not an ad, even though I wish it was, but I will put my referral link down below if you wanna help your girl get some more Amex points. In terms of the business class seat itself, you get this huge spacious seat. It goes from a seating position to a lay flat position, so it's almost like a bed. There's a large screen where you can watch movies. There's a controller that you can use to play games. There are headphones for you. There's bottled water for you. There's also a seat cover. There's a pillow and a blanket, as well as slippers. Here's me struggling to put on the seat cover. It also comes with a low bag of toiletries that has all of your essentials. Let me show you what's inside. So it comes with a dental kit that has a toothbrush, some floss, and a little package of mouthwash. It comes with a hand lotion and a lip balm. It also has earplugs. There's a microfiber cloth for cleaning your glasses. There's a fresh pair of socks that you can change into. There's an eye mask so the light doesn't bother you. I actually love the eye mask. I still use it at home. You also get a menu where you can pick your main course. I got the salmon last time and it was really tasty and this time I'm gonna get the short rib. There's also wines to choose from but I don't like drinking too much on flights because it makes my head hurt. And almost as soon as you sit down, there's a flight attendant who's gonna come around and offer you a Prosecco or sparkling water and it's offered to you in glassware but they do change it to a plastic cup before takeoff so after I unpacked my skincare I started to get comfy and I started watching my first movie and I was watching the third magic Mike, I believe I always thought the plot wasn't very good but they're watching for the abs after that I watched the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie and I really like that one and then I switched over my Prosecco into some apple juice. I don't normally drink apple juice, but I always drink it on flights. And it's actually because it reminds me of my first flight, which was from China to Canada when I immigrated here. And that was the first time I tried apple juice. And I remember I wasn't able to speak English, so I wasn't able to ask for more apple juice. And so drinking on flights now reminds me of how far I've come and it allows me to feel more gratitude for all the sacrifices my parents made to move me and my brother here to Canada so that we can have a better life. Anyways, we're on to our nighttime skincare routine before dinner and washing my face in the airplane bathroom was a struggle, let me tell you that. But it's okay, we made it through and we're back in our comfy seat. And this might sound silly, but I always pack my skincare in my carry-on because I am paranoid that I'm gonna lose it. And some of the products I use are not easily replaced and if I stop my routine, then my skin's gonna purge and I just don't wanna deal with any of that. So after I wash my face with some good old Cetaphil, I'm putting some SK2 facial treatment essence on my face just to rehydrate my skin. And of course, we can't forget our neck area. Then after that, I'm going in with the SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier just to add more hydration. Because the air on airplanes, I find it's pretty dry. After that, I'm putting on my Retin-A cream or Tretinoin. This is a retinoid, so it is 
is stronger than retinol. You guys might not know this, but I'm a pharmacist by trade, so I know a fair bit about this stuff. I've made some really informative TikToks about retinoids, so if you want to check them out, I'll link them down in the description. And then the final step, I'm sealing everything in with a really thick moisturizer. This is the SkinCeuticals Tripid Lipid Restore Cream, and this is just a little sample that I got. And now it's time for dinner. So we got a little Ai tuna appetizer and a little salad. The olive oil and balsamic vinegar dressing is so cute. The bottle is so tiny, I wanted to take it home. And the little salt and pepper shaker, oh my goodness, they were adorable. The short rib was also really tender honestly i wouldn't be upset if i got this at a restaurant then after some youtube movie magic it was the morning and we got some breakfast we got a little omelet sausage croissant fresh fruit the whole flight was six or seven hours so i only slept about four hours and i looked like death but after i washed my face put on my eyelid tape i was feeling a bit better so it's time for the morning skincare routine so the first thing i'm using is the polish choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant and i was so excited when this product came to canada because i had heard such good things about it and it did not disappoint so after using this for a few weeks i noticed that my pores were smaller i had less acne and i had less skin texture after letting that completely dry i'm putting on the skinceuticals ce ferulic serum and this is a vitamin c serum and what the serum does is that it brightens your complexion it fades dark spots and it's anti-aging so it's reducing the look of fine lines and you have to let your bha completely dry because vitamin c is super unstable so any change in the ph might denature the vitamin c in your vitamin c serum and this product is my holy grail this is my third bottle it's super expensive it smells a little funny but boy oh boy does it work i find that it smells like pepperoni lastly we have to protect our skin with spf so i'm using the biore aqua rich watery essence sunblock and this is also my holy grail it's especially important to wear your spf on airplanes because the uv rays on airplanes are unfiltered by the clouds if i were awake i would be putting this stuff on every two hours or more and of course we can't forget our neck and our hands and poof i put on some makeup and we are ready to land in paris after that we checked into our gorgeous hotel and i spent hours looking for the perfect hotel with the perfect parisian balcony so i could take some cute pictures on it if you want to see some of the outfits i wore in paris check out my instagram i'll link it down below and that's it for today's video thank you so much for spending time with me today and in my next video i'm going to show you all my favorite underrated paris picture spots so you can take really cute instagram pictures for yourself too until next week, bye!